Do you depend on your CPP income to make ends meet as a senior in Canada? Get ready, because you're about to get a lot of money. The government shocked everyone by saying that this Friday, all seniors who get the Canada Pension Plan will get an extra $1,300 in their funds. Yes, an extra $1,300 in cash. That's it. This unexpected gain could really change the lives of many people who are having a hard time getting by on their fixed incomes. You could finally pay off some bills, get rid of an old item that's broken, or even buy yourself something nice that you've been meaning to but haven't had the chance to. The real question is why there was such a big jump all of a sudden. The official story is that it's to help seniors who are having a hard time paying their rising costs of living, but critics are already saying it's not right, saying it's just an expensive way for the ruling party to buy votes before next year's election. No matter what the reason was for the raise, there's no doubt that it will be a relief for millions of Canadian seniors who are already struggling. Will it really make their lives better in the long run, though? And what small print might be tied to this amazing money-making scheme? We'll go over all the important facts you need to know about the CPP raise in this newscast. We'll talk about everything from who makes the cut to how it will affect your other perks to the bigger political issues. Wait until the very end, because what's coming could be the most important change to Canada's pension system in decades. Your future money may be in danger. It's clear that this sudden rise in the CPP is shocking people all over the country. It will cost the federal government more than $22 billion a year, making it one of the biggest programs to give seniors more money in decades. To begin, the requirements for qualifying are easy to understand. The $1,300 raise will help all Canadians who are already getting regular CPP retirement pension payments. This includes more than 6 million adults 65 and older who depend on these payments to live. Many of them are living on small amounts of money from CPP, old age security, OAAs, and other small sources, so the quick arrival of over $1,300 can be a big help. And maybe there's even room for a little extra comfort. It means that getting food won't be as much of a worry. Of course, there are some cases, people who get CPPP disability benefits, survivors' pensions, or other types of specialized CPP payouts won't have to pay more. These people have been left out, which has led to complaints and protests from advocacy groups who say that everyone should get the boost no matter what kind of CPP payment they get. Let's talk about money. Even though seniors are happy to get an extra $1,300, dollars they need to remember that the Canada Revenue Agency CRI counts it as fully taxable income. In other words, they'll get a bigger payment, but they'll also have to pay taxes on the extra money. Many people are happy to understand that they'll be getting more money, but they also need to save some so that they don't have a big tax bill next year. This detail is especially important for people who are already having a hard time making ends meet, since getting hit with unexpected tax bills could make their finances even worse. Benefits like the Guaranteed Income Supplement will also be affected, as clawback levels rise in line with the CPP increase. This means that seniors with the lowest incomes may lose some or all of their GI's top-ups because they make too much money now. The rise in the CPP will have big effects in the future. And here's how it works, it's not just a one-time boost, it's a lasting raise that will affect retirees' finances for years to come. This year, pensioners will get an extra $1,300 in CPP payments. In addition, their average payment rate will go up by the same amount every year after that. In other words, the effect of the price hike will get worse over time. For example, that first $1,300 increase could add up to well over $30,000 to your CPP income over the course of 20 years of retirement. For retirees, this benefit is very important because it means their standard of living may slowly get better over time. It might mean the difference between barely getting by and having a little extra money in their later years. This ongoing rise could be a lifesaver for many seniors, especially those who are already having a hard time. It will help them keep up with their rising costs and keep a good quality of life as they age. It's important to keep in mind, though, that even though this raises good news for many, it might not fully make up for the problems caused by inflation and rising living costs in the long run. Even so, it's a step in the right direction toward making sure that retirees can live a decent life and be financially stable during their golden years. As a result of this CPP rise, pensioners will spend their extra money, which is expected to bring billions of dollars into the economies of Canada's most senior provinces, such as Ontario, Quebec, and BC. Some people are skeptical about the time and size of the increase, though, and they haven't held back. With a federal election coming up in 2025, the party in power has been accused of trying to buy votes by giving money to seniors who are known to vote reliably. There are also still a lot of real questions about how the federal government will pay for it. 
Some new money from taxes like the nicotine tax has been set aside to help pay for it, but most economic studies show that the budget will likely fall short by a large amount. That makes it more likely that other funds will have to be taken away from building projects, social services, or even future rate hikes on CPP contributions in order to keep the system running. A bill worth billions of dollars is due, and taxpayers may have to pay it. For seniors who live in long-term care homes or supported living facilities, the increase in the CPP could also mean higher rent costs, which was not expected. If the extra $1,300 puts them over the income limits at their care facility, they could have to pay a lot more each month, which would cancel out the extra money dot for those millions of retirees who are getting a big CPP check this week. The champagne corks may be popping. So when you look at the smaller details, you can see that the situation is much more complicated and has long-lasting financial effects. So now we can talk about the bigger picture. Is this just an example of badly thought out public policy that was made for selfish political reasons? A careless theft of the CPP's money for short-term political gain that puts the whole pension system at risk in the long run? Or maybe the brave? Moving forward, seniors in Canada who are having a hard time have been waiting for a long overdue course correction to make sure they can retire with true financial security and respect after working hard for decades to build this country. With such different points of view, this problem is sure to cause a lot of disagreement among Canadians before the next federal election. It's like a live grenade was thrown into the public debate when the CPP went up and the damage has only just started. There is no doubt that this $22 billion increase each year has made the CPP and retirement savings in general one of the most important and controversial problems the country is currently facing. No doubt it will be heatedly discussed, broken down and politicized at every turn for many years to come. That's all there is to know about the CPP rise and all the effects it has caused. The finances and very ways of life of millions of Canadian seniors are being affected by this problem. One that everyone will be talking about in the next federal election and a big policy choice that will change how we as a country think about and pay for retirement for generations to come. Now the only question is what do you think? Is the CPP raise a long-awaited help for seniors who are having a hard time or is it a waste of money? a reason to improve an old pension system, or are they just trying to buy votes? In the comments, please tell me what you think about this shocking event. Thank you for reading this breakdown. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more in-depth Canadian news explanations. I'll keep a close eye on the CPP race story and we'll be posting more analysis soon, so hit the notification bell to stay up to date. For seniors in Canada, this is some of the most important news they've heard in decades. No doubt, there will be many more big changes in the future. Keep up with the channel by subscribing and liking videos. I'll see you all soon on this channel.